an essential mineral to beat diabetes, the food to lower blood pressure, and a tea that decreases proteinuria and creatinine levels. Yes, this will stop CKD. Catherine here, in this video, I want to share with you what steps are 100% necessary to beat CKD. There have been significant steps forward in the last years in the treatment for a disease that was once considered not curable. And while medical science has progressed, many doctors are still stuck with the old way of thinking, leaving when the that, patient that happens, to do all the heavy lifting. But don't worry, today we will take a look at what actually works. And I want to clarify one thing immediately. You can beat this terrifying disease. There are ways to improve your kidney function in all the stages. But you should never let your diagnosis claim control of your life. Whether you have been recently diagnosed or you've been fighting kidney disease for years, you possess more power than you realize. It's no secret that patients who take an active role in their healthcare and treatment decisions always have better overall outcomes. And recent research even went a step forward saying that a positive attitude may be actually be necessary to overcome a serious illness like CKD. Now the question is, can kidney damage actually be repaired? New scientific findings are telling us that the kidney can indeed be repaired. Research shows that the kidneys are regenerating and repairing themselves in a significant way all throughout life. So why do they say that kidney disease cannot be reversed? Because to make a difference, you need to stop what's causing the damage. This is 100% needed to give the kidneys the chance to regenerate. It has long been thought that kidney cells didn't reproduce or regenerate, that kidney damage is permanent. This is not true. Once we stop what's damaging our kidneys, kidney function can actually be improved. And today we will see how to achieve just that. So what are the most common causes of kidney damage and how do we stop them? One of the most common causes of CKD is high blood pressure. I focus a lot on this problem in my videos because while high blood pressure is not the number one cause of kidney disease, it is actually also a consequence of the disease. This is because the kidneys are involved in the regulation of blood pressure. If you want to reverse kidney disease, the first thing you want to do is to lower blood pressure and keep it in the correct range. The kidneys are only able to handle blood pressure in a range below 130 over 80. Anything higher than that is bound to cause damage over time. If the systolic raise is above 120 and below 130, blood pressure is considered elevated. While if the numbers are above 130 on 80, we are talking about hypertension. We don't want that. Take all the necessary steps to keep a healthy blood pressure naturally. Some lifestyle changes like being more active, limit sodium intake, and keeping a healthy weight can greatly help with hypertension. And there are a few remedies that can really help us. Maybe the most useful in an essential mineral many kidney disease patients are deficient in magnesium. Magnesium deficiency leads to hypertension, insulin resistance, and is associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular events and progression to renal failure. This is what science tells us about magnesium and kidney disease. It's clear in my opinion that you don't want to be deficient in this key nutrient. Problem is that so many patients are actually deficient, unfortunately. Guys, I've explained how to avoid this in my video up here. Watch it now to know more. Now, something I always recommend to control high blood pressure is garlic. This superfood has been proven time and time again key to fight many of the causes of kidney damage, including, but not just, hypertension. And while garlic supplements are actually a good way to lower blood pressure, decrease inflammation, and improve immune health naturally, when it comes to garlic, I always prefer the real thing. You see, real garlic is way more powerful than supplements in terms of kidney health benefits. So I really love to include garlic in my recipes. And if you want to see my last recipe, watch this video up here. 
And the most common cause for kidney disease is diabetes. When it comes to diabetes, it's important to realize that lifestyle changes are key to improve. Because as I was saying, the kidneys can be repaired, but you need to stop what's causing the damage. So we should find ways to keep blood sugar at healthy levels. Eating a smart diet full of fruit, vegetables, and whole grains can really help. And while some will tell you to avoid carbs completely, there is really no need to do that. The real enemy is sugar and processed grains. Other lifestyle changes like being physically active are very important too. The aim here is to fasting blood sugar level less than 100 mg per dl. When looking at blood sugar numbers, anything between 100 to 125 mg per dl is pre-diabetes and if it's 126 mg per dl or higher, it's diabetes. Again, keeping this number in the right range is key to reverse kidney disease. And while lifestyle changes are needed to achieve this result, there are a couple of remedies that can really help getting there. This is an essential nutrient that directly treats the root cause of diabetes, chromium picolinate. Chromium is the master mineral in stabilizing and reducing blood sugar levels, and it really helps. Chromium directly reduces insulin resistance and helps blood glucose control according to research. You can find this nutrient in trace amounts in plant products, specifically grains. But if you want to use it to treat diabetes, you may prefer to take a chromium picolinate supplement. This is because the therapeutic dose for typically consists of 1000 micrograms of chromium picolinate taken in two doses during the day. And that's 20 to 40 times more than what you can find in foods. Now, a prescription of metformin can really help controlling diabetes as many patients already know. What not everyone knows is that there is a home remedy that can do even better. This is berberin. Doctors commonly prescribe metformin in the treatment of diabetes. It's a very effective prescription medicine, by the way. Its main use is to lower hemoglobin A1c, but it can also assist in weight loss. Metformin is a completely synthetic compound. On the other hand, berberine, which is completely natural, has many of the same properties of metformin. It may lower fasting and post meal glucose levels by more than 30% according to studies, but it can also help with cholesterol and blood pressure. The standard dose of berberine is 900 to 2000 milligrams a day divided into 3 to 4 doses. Berberine should be taken around 30 minutes before a meal to maximize the effect. And here's something else that really helps with diabetes. This tea is made from a root with incredible properties. More about this later. Now guys, my main point for today's video is to stop all the most common causes of kidney disease. Here we can see two big slices that account for 70% of all the cases of CKD, type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. These are our two main enemies, but obviously there are other causes as we can see here. We can see here glomerular disease that also includes IgA nephropathy but also hereditary diseases such as polycystic kidney disease and then nephritis that are inflammatory conditions. There are still a lot of cases that are not caused by these more common causes and as we can see, 4% of cases are of unknown origin. Statistic also tells us that there are many cases that are misdiagnosed. What this means is that you should do all you can to be 100% sure that you know what's causing your problem. Consult a nephrologist and do all the tests they prescribe you. Now there are certain things however that can help no matter the cause. While the cause of kidney disease and the stage of kidney disease you are in dictates its own treatment, there are lifestyle changes that can help basically every single kidney disease patient. And these include avoid stress, drink only in moderation, avoid irregular sleep patterns, exercise regularly. This last step is extremely important because you know, exercising works to improve the two main causes of kidney damage. Diabetes by reducing visceral fat, the cause of diabetes. Exercising alone, in some cases, reverse kidney disease. And also by lowering blood pressure. Again, visceral fat, the hidden fat we have around the organs in the body is what causes most metabolic problems such as diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure. This is why regular exercise is recommended to CKD patients in all the stages, stage 5 included. Because you see, many people only focus on body weight when it comes to metabolic risks. 
but the truth is that the percentage of visceral fat is even more important than body weight and while the diet can surely help with subcutaneous fat the fat that's actually visible exercise is way more effective against visceral fat the fat that causes health issues this is why overweight people are not necessarily less healthy if they exercise regularly and also remember that there are certain medications that can damage the kidneys. Avoid painkillers. Regular use of NSAIDs like nafraxen, ibuprofen has been proven to cause life-lasting kidney damage, so avoid them. Same is also true for antibiotics. Only take them as directed by your doctor and remember that CKD patients must follow shorter antibiotic courses than the general population. Even more important, never take at the same time blood pressure medications, diuretics and NSAIDs. That should never happen. I've shown what the consequences may be in my video up here. Another thing that really helps is to focus on progress. It's really easy to lose track of the bigger picture when battling a disease as serious as CKD. As we have seen, when on a journey to a better kidney health, the first step is always finding ways to lower your blood sugar levels and your blood pressure naturally. But only lowering these levels is just half of the equation. You also need to lower your medications. When your doctor will eventually be able to do this, your kidneys will start to improve almost immediately. This is an incredibly powerful way to put your kidney health back on track fast. Speaking of which, it's time to see the specialty I was showing you in the beginning of the video. This is a special preparation that has shown incredible benefits for the treatment of diabetic kidney disease. In a very recent review of 24 studies involving 1,918 participants, those drinking a tea similar to this every morning had a huge drop in creatinine levels and they were also able to lower their proteinuria and cholesterol levels significantly. This is Panax Noto Ginseng Tea. I love ginseng, it's a great alternative to coffee and it also comes with powerful anti-inflammatory properties and many people love to drink it for its amazing taste. But ginseng was firstly used as a remedy. Ginseng has been used for centuries to treat pain thanks to its anti-inflammatory properties and research shows that the antioxidants found in ginseng are also effective at protecting the organs from inflammation. It can also boost blood flow which is an amazing way of improving kidney function and lower cholesterol levels according to studies. And while every single kidney disease patient may benefit from this powerful herbal remedy, those suffering from diabetes are going to get incredible results. And while you can take ginseng in supplement form, drinking the tea made from the whole root is my preferred method. You see, there is more in ginseng than what the extract gives you. Making this tea is pretty easy. First, you need to find good Panax Noto ginseng. Now, dried ginseng is very hard to cut, but if you boil some water and steam the ginseng for 5 minutes, it will become very easy to cut in pieces. To make a ginseng tea that really helps with kidney function, we need to prepare a decoction. A decoction is what naturopaths do to make herbal ingredients more powerful. Ginseng pieces need to soak in water for 2-4 to four hours before making the tea, or even overnight. Now they're ready to boil. When the water boils, reduce the heat and let simmer for about one hour. Strain the ginseng, saving the water. This is our first decoction. Add another batch of water and repeat for the second decoction. Mix the first and second batches together. Keep the decoction in the fridge and drink within four to five days. At this point, the root may be chewable, so you could try eating it. Or you could continue to do more decoctions with it. And guys, the diet is also key to beat kidney disease. If you want to learn more about what diet is the most effective to improve kidney health, my recent video up here is going to be really interesting for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.